Hello guys and gals and welcome. Uh, this is episode two. Uh, well, not really episode technically since it's the same day and we're just continuing the stream. But um, yes, uh, we're going to continue our No Rest for the Wicked. If you guys haven't watched uh, this from the beginning, you might want to watch it from the beginning. I don't know. Probably. Um, basically, it's uh, it's kind of like a two-parter. So we're just going to continue right into the second portion uh, I was streaming for, what, like 11 hours and 30 minutes? So, yeah, well, however long we stream on this one, it'll be even more. We'll set up a new poll, shall we? Um, <laughs> there you go. New poll for a new stream. Let's see, who we still got here? Nightcrawler, Charles, Bub, AJ, what's up? It's a good way to get extra like button clicks. You should do that every show on, on the hour, and you will have five times as many likes as normal. <laughs> you joined me, but you're broke. I'm broke, too. I'm broke, too. I might not have enough money to pay my bill. Mother Maker, seek All right, force. Mushroom Hat, we got work Please to do. Mother Maker, work to do. Forsaken. Please watch over me. Ah, what's up, Bob? I'm in uh, YouTube. I mean, uh, Discord chat. If anybody from the kinship wants to join. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I get this, this stupid fairy bug, man. I, just, I wish I could rebind the parry button. I'm sure that's something that they're going to change eventually in future patch versions. Because I guarantee you they're getting a lot of feedback from a lot of people. They're going to be saying pretty much the same thing as uh, as me I am. Where, like, they're like, they don't want the parry button to be the middle click. And it would be really nice if they could rebind the parry button to something else other than the middle click. But... It'd be whatever it is. Come get some. Come on, get some. Uh, uh, perfect fairy sucker. Uh. Come on, get some. Perfect fairy sucker. Uh, uh. Come on, get some. He came and got some. I took too many hits, too many, too many failed parries. But I still did pretty good. I need to, I need to be better with the parries. Logitech Corsair and Razer software lets you rebind my middle click mouse button. Hmm. Huh. 
You sent a message to Meow? Meow's been kind of AFK, yeah, so I would send it to somebody else, like me. Seek forsaken, please watch over me. Mother Maker, seek forsaken. Please watch over me. Or Bob. Somebody who's online. Make sure they're online. Man, I hit the parry button freaking way too late, I guess. Way too early? I don't know what the hell's going on. All of a sudden I suck. I suck all of a sudden. I was literally doing so good, now I'm just now I'm just sucking it up. Just premier suckage. Cursed. Cursed it. <clears throat> Sitting down for a long periods of time certainly makes my legs itch. Lack of blood circulation, I'm sure. Blood circulate. Circulate blood. It's good enough that I've been playing it for 12 hours and I plan on keep playing it for more. <laughs> What's up, Bob? Oh, nothing. This is such a fun ARPG. It's like somebody took Elden Ring and, like, shoved it together with Diablo and, like, sprinkled in a little bit of Torchlight. It's, it's absolutely great. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's one of the ones I've tried. I mean, even the bosses are very, are very uh... Honestly, I wish the bosses in Diablo were like this. Like in Diablo 4. There's nothing. The bosses in Diablo 4 are nothing like this. Yeah, I haven't really, I haven't seen anything on it really at all. No. Ah, 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 okay. I mean, I, I know like the, the style that's going to game. When it comes to it being like Elden Ring and all that, like I've seen minimal gameplay, but... I mean, uh, it's... None it, of the bosses, none of the real, like, big interactions in it, just, like, small, like, stupid stuff. Trash mobs. Mother Maker. I mean, honestly, some of the trash mobs are harder than some of the bosses, to be honest. Like, it, that's, and that's true for, like, Elden Ring as well. Like, there's certain trash mobs. <laughs> like, that, I hate that thing. Every time they come around, you're just like, ugh. And get out of here. I care about you throwing temper tantrums. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, that was a failure. Another failure. Hey, there's something wrong with my mouse. It keeps, like, sometimes not pressing the middle click, which is the parry button. Which is pretty important when you're trying to parry attacks. Like, for it not to do it at the right time. Or not to do it at all. It's like it's delayed or something. I don't know. Sometimes it works just fine. It does. Sometimes it works absolutely flawlessly. And sometimes it just doesn't work at all. And there goes my helmet, my armor, and my weapon have all now broken. Unless I'm gonna go, unless I'm gonna fight him naked, I gotta go back to town and repair. Pants off, dance off. Nice. I was fighting this one monster, and I, I was getting my booty cheek clapped over and over again with all the weapons and armor that I had, until everything was broken and I had nothing left. And I went and killed him with my fists. I literally just punched <laughs> him to death, to and I and I did it too. <laughs> just completely naked punch off. Uh, oh, that's funny. Uh, sure, 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 sure. What the hell are these fallen embers for? I don't understand. Like, they're worth good money, too. I got like 24 of them so far. This probably gonna have something to do with a nice crafting system. Oh, it, it does seem to have a pretty interesting crafting system, that's for sure. Oh, no, that. That's where most ARPGs have gone as of late. 
Hello, to a friend. fantastic crafting system, or what they perceive as a fantastic ah, crafting the savior system. Return. <laughs> Some games go the wrong direction, in my Sarah? opinion, and they make the crafting system way too complicated. This game has some interesting items in it. They're called cursed items, basically. And they give you, um, they're kind of like Diablo 1 items where they have, like, really nice stats, but then they also have, like, one bad stat. <laughs> nice. Which I think is a really neat way to do it. I like the, I like the cursed items. Like, you might find the most godlike cursed item, and then, like, the curse is, like, something that you don't care about. You know, like, maybe you're not a melee character, and it's, like, reduced 50% melee damage or something, and you're like, I don't care, I'm a, I'm a mage. I am liking the game, uh, Ajamos. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, Elden Ring, like, Dark Soul-esque style elements in the game. Like, poise is in here. Um, the weapons... Um, give you your like your your weapon set like your attack set but then there's also like you can customize your attack set too so I mean that's a whole thing all right poop stain and how did I miss it again Patch of season three for Diablo. So D three single like real patch happened this season. Yeah. So I figured I played the first patch on my turn. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I still think the game is going to keep up. I mean, I'm gonna play this season. I'm gonna hit GR 150. Probably. I think the game's better when it first came out than it is right now. I think they, um, honestly, they went way too through with the casual crowd. They're trying so hard to please, like, the casual players with Diablo 3. I think that's where things ended up. It's oh, yeah, like, for sure. This is just... I mean, I mean I, and, I, and I'll agree that maybe, you know, Casual players do want a game that they can just pick up and put down whenever they want to, but like, it's just too casual. It's way too casual for me. It's like so For speed farming, I have to have. I've been trying to do this boss fight for the past like hour, and the first phase of the boss fight is literally just like a regular boss that I have fought before, and I've already beaten. So, like, it's not that big of a deal. But the second phase of the boss fight is this tentacled monster creature that comes out of the first boss, and it is extremely difficult because you got to go all the way through the first boss. And to get to the second boss, and it's not easy because I don't really have the healing stuff that I need to do it, so I'm trying so hard to like almost like perfect the first boss with no healing pots and no nothing that can basically sustain me, and it's just it's it's very it's very hard. I don't know, I, I really just need to probably go farm a bunch of healing pots, but it's probably gonna get to that point though, because every time you die, you lose durability and it costs a butt ton to repair your armor. So if you fight the boss until all your equipment is broken, then you got to go back and repair, and you can only repair so many times before you're literally dirt, piss poor, broke, and you literally can't afford to repair your armor again. So you basically have no choice but to go out and punch, like, horseshoe crabs to try and get some money so you can repair your armor. That's fair. All right. 
One, two, three. Buckle my shoe. Come on down. Take a poo. Oh, wait, what? Successes in a row, that means I've recovered mm -hmm. most of my HP. There's some pretty interesting mods in this game, like recovering health on successful parries. That basically makes it so that, like, it's not just about, like, trying to dodge the boss and trying to stay alive. You can, uh, you can actually parry the boss and stay alive, which is pretty cool. You just have to make sure you're parrying him over and over again. I want to get one more parry in, hopefully. Mm -hmm. so run away, because he does this crazy transformation at the beginning. Kidding me. It wasn't even an attack, it was just like he was moving, and I got hit by the tentacles as he was moving away. Poopies. I guess he doesn't like my spinning him around him in circles because he has some sort of anti uh anti exploit mode where he backs away to try and prevent you from spinning around him in circles. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. This is rough. Mother, maker. I can barely hear you guys during the boss fight too, because he's so tentacly and s squiggly and like freaking. So many sound effects going on, and I need to hear the sound effects because like that's how I get like a lot of my audio cues, so I can like know what the hell he's gonna be doing. I haven't taken a look at damage numbers. I'm kind of interested to see how much damage I'm done. Yeah, 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 whatever, you suck. You suck his boss. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 did that hurt? 
Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Should hurt. How did you hit me from there? You little turd. I don't even understand how he hits me sometimes. Like his reach seems to be so much further than his actual ability. Like his 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 the tip of his sword ends way before me, and somehow the attack still hits me. Sometimes these monsters attack in such quick succession. I feel like I'm fighting millennia from Elden Ring all over again. They just over here like. Like I don't want to be anywhere near that blender. Like I'm gonna stand over here, right? I don't want to be near the blender. The Blendomatic. And I missed it. Well, I'm pretty much dead. If I miss this next parry, I'm dead. Arm made of milk because those attacks look pretty cheesy. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Get cocky. I was, uh, I was playing around with the idea of trying to, like, parry him constantly, which was interesting. I was able to get off, like, two or three parries in a row there, but um, some of his attacks are I don't think are parryable. Like, the shield slam he has, I don't think you can parry that. Because he's not attacking you, he's attacking the ground. I don't think you can potentially parry something that's, like, not targeted at you. So I gotta be careful not to, not to get hit by his shield slam. Also, he has a kick. I don't think I can parry the kick either. That doesn't seem parryable. But his his regular attacks are.
Jesus, I was eight miles away from you when that happened. I'm telling you, that one attack right there, I was on the other side of the battlefield and he somehow still hit me with it. Maybe he's got like a dagger throw I don't know about. He might have. He might have like a dagger throw. I don't see any daggers, but maybe. HP. gets me sometimes because I'm not I'm just not used to like the, the direction that you gotta go to avoid that thing I never was a big fan of multi-phase boss fights where like each each boss fight is different than the like, uh, previous boss fight within the same boss fight and you have to go through phase one two and uh, to get to three which usually means that you have to like perfect phase one to get to two, and then you have to perfect phase two to get to three. And then once you're at three, it's just, it takes so long to get back to three, to learn the mechanics of three, that you end up kind of frustrated by the end because you're just, you're just trying to get back there so you can learn the boss mechanics. You know what I mean? Like, you just, and it takes so long to get back there. I'd much rather enjoy it when the, the game companies will do the opposite, which is where they they have multi-phase boss fights, but then like once you beat a phase, they just let you pass that phase. They're like, okay, well you beat it, so uh, next second phase. Okay, I missed both parries. Pass this guy without going to farm a bunch of healing pods. I mean, once my armor and weapons break, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have to go back out into the wilds and start punching things. Either that or raid my stash to see what I can sell for for uh, for copper. <laughs> sequences, which is rude. Like, I just can't get away from it.
much longer will my armor last? Well, it hasn't turned orange yet, so... I guess I've got a couple more deaths. Durability is currently at 14 out of 108. So, uh, one of my rings is broken. Well, looks like maybe one more death. Seeker forsaken. Maybe two. Then it's time to go farm. did wrong. I'm pretty sure I parried it in time. Yeah, everything's orange now. I think it's time to go farm, otherwise we're gonna have broken armor and we're not gonna be able to farm with anything. Let's go fast travel back to town. It's just a really long boss fight. I mean, it's two boss danger? fights, technically, back to back. So, I mean, we've got one boss fight that we've got to do, and then we've got to do the second boss fight, which we've only been able to get to, like, a couple, a handful of times. Almost freaking beat him one of the times, too, which is why I'm pretty upset that I freaking didn't. I, I made one little mistake toward the end of that last boss fight. I had him down to, like, one quarter health, and I almost had it, but I made a dumb mistake and screwed it up. Gather some herbs, get some healing, so we can make a serious attempt here. There should be plenty of herbs down here. Yeah, looks like everything's respawned, so we've got herbs all over the place. We can make probably like ten more healing pots. Run the full circle. Oh, I got trees here. Too. I'll take the trees. Doesn't help me out with my potions. I also think I'm under leveled for this fight. Judging by the gear that I was obtaining inside this dungeon. I was kept. I kept finding items that were level 11. That were level 11 gear, and uh, that makes me <laughs> that makes me think that perhaps I might <laughs> not be in the right place. <coughs> it might be that this is a level 11 dungeon, and since I'm only level um, nine, I might be kind of out of place. Maybe I just don't have enough hit points, enough damage output yet. Fairy ring. There's a bunch of doojinks up by the fairy ring. Gear check, bug lens. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll show you my gear. My current gear is uh, this little doojitty hairy. Got a little mushroom hat. Got a knave's tunic. Wielding fingers. Knave breeches. A rune ring. Stone tusk ring. My current gear. I'm only level nine. I'm working on it. I actually found some uh, some pretty decent, like level eleven equipment in the dungeon, which looks like absolutely amazing, by the way. But I can't use it yet, so. It'd be nice if I had that level eleven equipment on. I bet you that boss would be a hell of a lot easier.
Oh man, if I get through phase two and he goes to a phase three, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my brow and be like, whoo, ah, hey, we did it, guys. And then he's going to, like, erupt into phase three and, like, eat my face. Are there uniques and stuff? Yes, there are. And there's also corrupted items, too, which is pretty cool. Which are basically, like, cursed items. Uh, that have, like, really good stats, but they also have, like, a really bad stat, too. So they got a curse, a cursed effect. Pretty neat. I found a couple of them so far, and uh, like, oh, oh, oh that's, that's what I meant to do. Well, there goes my equipment. <laughs> well, well uh, everything just broke. I'm naked now. Naked. I've scoured the realms. You don't. Ah, the savior. Naked. Okay, how much do we need to repair? Cause Hello, old friend. We need one gold, fifty-two copper to repair. Or one to silver, fifty-two copper. All right. Uh, what can we do to obtain one silver, fifty-two copper? Let me go check Mr. Bloodface up here and see if I can have uh, completed any of these missions yet. Oh, I kill men for free when you can be paid to do it. Better this world, one. Why doesn't the button work? Like, why can't I do the thing that I'm supposed to do here? You know? I'm pressing the button that you tell me to press, but I do not do the pressy, pressy, press. None, these don't work. None of these work. They do not work. You know what? Let's go kill uh, this this boy. All right. I mean, we can kill him. Cause he's worth two. He's worth two silver. Which I can punch him to death if I if I do it right. Oh, I kill men for free. <coughs> you can be paid to do it. I don't know. Let's see what we can sell. Uh, do I fall and die in the environment often? Yes. <laughs> oh God, yes. Oh dear Lord Jesus, yes. Way too, way too much for my life. Way too much. Okay. We've got food. Now we need money, so we can... Oh my dear Lord Jesus, wasting my food! Just don't be wasting my food! Dang it, why is it... <laughs> Stop fighting people. I don't even know what to sell. Um... I guess we can sell this Screams Tatters, because we also have the Crestfallen Knight body armor, which I'm probably going to be using. Uh, we could sell the Welding Coat, because I'm never going to use that. Um, sell the Chip Sapphire, I think, because it's not really all that amazing. I also have 12 apples. I could potentially sell those. I'm trying to see what's actually worth any money to sell. Let's sell the trout too. Why not?
making and selling meals. I literally need the meals to do the boss fight. I, I can't, uh... <laughs> I, uh that, that won't do me. It wouldn't do me any good. Why kill men for free when you can be paid to do it? I fear it's happening again. Everything is right. Hello, old friend. All right, it's a good day to you. Sell the apples. Sell the fish. Sell the gem sapphire. Sell the rock art. Sell the wilding coat and the scraper's tail. And does that bring me to 146? Hey, you will, uh, no. Is is uh, Sell everything I own, apparently. Sacrament and doors. Good day to you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Warrior's only as good as his weapon. Okay, so I've got some food, and uh, we still need more. Though. So let's go, let's go back out and let's see what else we can get. Easiest thing to do is just go out here and just start collecting materials and equipment and whatever we can get our hands on. Let's go down this way. We can sell the woodcutter's axe, who cares? Knocking me for a loop. He got some. He got some freaking. What does he got? A hammer? I think that was the first hammer mo uh, mob I've ever seen. Big old giant hammer. I am still playing this awesome game. It's amazing. I like it. It's fun. How long is early access? I don't know. It's a good question. If I knew the answer, I would tell you. But I don't. Because I don't know the answer. I'm gonna go get that guy. He knocked me off the thing. And I don't like that. Oh, good. Some money. I'm broke. I need that. I need that to buy things. Like my dignity. I need to buy my dignity back. It's really expensive at the shop. Across the lot. His attacks are so linear. Literally just straightforward attacks. Like dodge them around in a circle. Easy. What's up there? I want that. Oh, the archer up there too. Okay. How about I slice your head off? You can just arch through that. Mushrooms. Wait for the rich. I like you. Go away. Let me get up there. Let's play with the knife. Come on up here. Come in. Come on down. 
No, no, come back up. Come up here. Come on. Oh no, oh no, my foot. Oh no, I gotta get my foot. Oh no, it's my foot. Oh no, my foot. Oh no, my foot. Haha, -ha, you bugged out. That's what you get. Is this a bad game? No. It's really fun. I like it a lot. I've been playing it for like 12 hours, and I love it. You can sit right on down, stupid little fire blasty guy. I remember you from last time. Making some mugs. Oh, look at your poor little dead body. Ain't nobody like you neither. You can get better. He's attacking in the wrong direction. Not sure how that's supposed to help anybody. One of my healing do jank, you little turd. Tangers, man. Let's just collect everything. Take it back, sell what we don't need. Hopefully, by the time we're done, we'll actually have money, meals, etc. Wretched Archer too. Could be a bunch of stuff down here. Mm -hmm. Alright, Bob. Okay, we got some flame. Should be more stuff here. There's like a little thing over here too. No. Poops. Ain't nothing over here. this hey we unlocked something that's cool what do we unlock oh it's like a back entrance to this place oh that's neat little do that over here little do that over there little do jank over here little do jank over there what the hell is this? Titanium dig spot? I'm gonna break my shovel before I ever finish digging it up. What's in here? Freaking. I literally almost broke my shovel, too. Some copper and some chipped coal.
I don't think my shovel has enough durability to do another. Got yeah, 14? Maybe. Uh, it might break. Oh yeah, game's amazing. I like it. Alright. We can backtrack through here and get these items too. Might as well. We'll grab everything. Chest right here. And then uh, we got like a couple of janks in here. Some mushrooms. We're pretty much broke right now, so we need it. I want you to suffer. Oh, he freaking ripped me to shreds. Little jerk face. Let's go repair our shovel anyway. Sixty copper just to repair my shovel. Warrior's only as good as his weapon. God good dang it, I used one of my foods again. Keep hitting F instead of E, I don't know why. It's, some games have interchangeable F and E com buttons. Ah, Alright, let's see here. We don't need this copper axe, we don't need this wooden shield or this gnarled staff. Um, wretched archer tunic. Mm, health increased by 9%. I mean, my armor is not exactly amazing. Uh, it does have 45 armor on it because I put the armor thing on there, but this does have health and stamina regeneration, which sounds more useful, to be honest. I like health and stamina regeneration. Hmm, maybe we swap that out. May your will be half as strong as my work. I mean, mine's okay, right? but it's not that great. I wonder if I can pull that piece out of it and put it into this one. Make life and... Ah, dang it, I use another one of my foods. I hate that. I don't let me use my food in town. On alert. Always go the green. Why have slides when you can burn them free? Let me go craft up what I can, and then we're just gonna go try and fight the boss again. Oh, I kill men for free when you can be paid to do it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna waste all my food walking around town, accidentally hitting the F key. Let's 
Sneak, sneak, sneak. To the boss. Let's go kick his booty cheeks. How much gold did we get from that? Not enough to repair our equipment again if we fail. <laughs> Maybe enough to repair our equipment halfway through. For free when you can be paid to do it. We've got enough heals, though, that if we play it safely and we heal up when we need to, we should be okay as long as we don't get overwhelmed. Just roll up the sleeves. Start out with some focus to Mother, maker, seek, forsake. Please watch over me. Mother, maker. Give ourselves every advantage we can. We got, uh, what is it? the trees that I cut down? No, the answer is no. I tried to. I stuffed my parries too many times in a row. Come on. Get jiggy with the ginger.
He freaking launched across the entire battlefield to kill me. I was trying to back up to heal, and it didn't work. <clears throat> yeah, I currently gain regain health with parry because I have it a a special item on that causes me to heal for 14% of my life every single time I parry. It's it's how the ability works. Four skull. Foods do I have? I've got 12. 13 actually if you count the mushrooms too. I guess I'm fine. No, you do not regain health potions after death. You have to craft them. Kidding me? Freaking two times in a row? Come on.
does have a spin attack that you can do now, then, which is kind of annoying. and then hitting him from behind every single time he over lunges. It's, it's just a lot to it. And I think I'm almost there. I think I can hold this together for a couple more fucking hits. Alright, slashes. Avoid the slashes. Please don't let there be a phase three. <laughs> oh man. I got a unique item. What? Falstead's Fury, one handed straight sword, deals 58 damage on parry, 17% bonus damage at full health. Deal 8% bonus damage against large enemies, health increased by 18%. Triple Swipe, Crushing Dash, Kick Slash, Damage Surge. It requires level... No, it doesn't require a level. It requires stats. I need a 22 Strength, and... I need 22 Faith. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. That's a really cool sword. I wish I could use it uh, right now, but it's a really cool sword. All right, now that we killed Buttface, what's next? Impressive. This isn't a sewer anymore. It's a tomb. See? I knew it! Sacrament stands because of me! It wasn't your place, Serum, to make a deal with a prisoner. Nor perhaps my place to let you. But don't worry. He was never out of our sight. Tell him, Serum. I honored our deal. And an hero deserves an hero's pardon. <laughs> 
Sacrament doesn't bargain with murderers. You're headed for hard labor at the Mountain Gate, by order of the Madrigal. You shit-smiling bastard! <laughs> and you? Well, I think we understand each other, Serum. You and I, we do what needs to be done. Consider yourself a citizen of Sacrament. You've defended this city. Now, you may make it your home. That much easier to find you later. Hey, I upheld my part of the deal, Radigan. Don't be coming to me. Don't be coming to me with that, Jane. Well, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to wear this friggin' sword. Um, because the problem is, is that it's... It requires so much stats, unless I can respec somehow. I mean, I... It requires 22 strength and 22 faith. I only have, even if I put all three points into strength right now, I still only have 19 strength, so I'm nowhere near being able to put that sword on. And then I'd have to get 22 faith as well, which is a lot. I mean, it's probably a really good sword. It's got four different movesets. It looks freaking cool as all get out. I don't know. Serum, listen, please. You and I, we've grown close, haven't we? Over the course of our little adventure, maybe even friends. I'm trying to live by the straight and narrow, to make amends. But these brutes, they can't see beyond a man's past. But we'll see how high and mighty you are with a knife in your throat. I don't think I'll be telling Ellsworth you released that rat from his cage. But I won't be telling him my role in all this either. out right in town. Look at that. Alright, well, we finished the quest. I believe this means we also have an Icker, which we can use to enhance our like equipment stats or slots or whatever because um, according to this every time you kill a boss you get an icker and then you can use the icker to enhance your abilities oh that's the war room oh yeah we never did kill this guy in the war room let's go kill him real quick the guy in the war room can't think be that much harder than the boss that we just killed See if we can parry some. Maybe. I don't know. He's a lot tougher than the one I fought in the dungeon. Ow.
dodge, dodge. What are you doing? No. Got him all the way down to like two HP, and then and and then I just start like fail dodging over and over again. I'm about to throw a potion at his head. Oh, is he regenerating? No, don't you regenerate? Got him down to one HP, and now he's regenerating. That's some some high quality BS right there. I literally just walked away from him for a second, and his HP just started pouring back up, pouring back up. Oh, why are we here? Finish this area already. What's up, guys? The game's amazing. It's amazing. Like the adventuring type. Well, I see how to fight him now, though. I mean, it seems to be pretty obvious. I just, I don't know why I never saw it before. His attacks are very much so linear in one direction, except for his sweeps. So you have to make sure you dodge his sweeps. But other than his sweeps, I mean, it's pretty much just a matter of do dodging around him in a circle. I might not have the HP anymore to do it. Not if I keep making mistakes. up too many times. Close, but no cigar. Some resin in the glades for the rest of us. I'm going to see if I can start this with a big hit. Yeah, no, peace out. It's something about sneaking up behind him. It's like next to him, possible. And every time I try and sneak up behind him, it's like it's like it gives him an advantage because he sees me, and then I, he just like rips me to shreds. In true serum, leave some resin in the glades for the rest of us. I think it's better just to go at it.
still haven't figured out how to parry a single one of this guy's attacks either, though. Like, I feel like I gotta be able to parry some of them, but I can't figure out the, like, the order to parry them. I mean, he's definitely a hell of a lot stronger than the one I fought down in the thing. I was like, man, I killed this one down in the thing. Easy. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna pretend. This is not the same one that was down in the thing. This is this is a completely different one than the one that was down in the thing. Hmm. Let's use some blade oil. to the fountain. I think I screwed myself on this one. <laughs> Too close to the fountain. I couldn't get behind him. His attacks are way too broad and sweeping to be in front of him. Unless I can parry them. If I can parry them, then it's then it's no deal. Like like, it doesn't even matter. But I'm having a hard time getting the parries off on this game. Parry the platypus. Parry the parry the platypus. If I can kill him, I get two silver out of this. So I'll have plenty of money to repair my equipment. so good against them I almost killed him on like the first freaking try and then now I can't even freaking I can't even keep up with him for some reason I don't know what the hell's going on leave some resin in the glades for the rest of us I thought it was doing good this is a mission by the way for those of you guys who are wondering why the hell I'm trying to kill this thing it's a it's part of the it's part of the mission there's like a challenge or whatever to go kill this guy, and you get like two silver for doing it. Which two silver is a lot of money. It's basically 200 copper. He charges and then he charges again directly after it. So if you dodge the first charge, he literally turns around and he'll literally just wham you with the second charge. Hello, old friend. Of course, I don't have enough money. <laughs> Good day to you. I never got enough money for anything. Uh, this. It costs way too much money in this game, just to like to keep your equipment from being constantly broken. I'm not sure I particularly enjoy the like ridiculously fast durability loss of the items. I don't know. And, uh, honestly, though, 
it would make items that are indestructible a lot more attractive. You look like the adventuring type. All right, one more time. With Gusto. Let's start off with a, um, a vial of focus. So fucking so stupid. So stupid. And his sweep is like a frickin' 140 arc. Or a 180 arc. It's, it's nuts. Or I don't even know, like 220 maybe. It's like a 220 arc. It's freaking insane. And it takes up like the majority of the screen when he does it. Like the, the only place that's safe is not even behind him. You have to be, you have to be basically to the right or to the left of him, depending on where his swing starts, whether it starts on the left or the right. So if his swing starts on the left, then you have to be behind him on the right. Or behind him on the left, like it's 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 rough. Oh my god, he can hit me through the frickin' thing. He literally hit me through the through the table. It was impressively sad. There we go. I finally buried him. It only took like a million fights, but I finally figured out how to bury one one of his attacks. I think I figured out how to parry that one straight edge attack, though. It's so long, though. Like, if, I don't even know if it gives me any advantage to parry that attack, because it takes me so long to get to him to take advantage of the stagger. But you basically have to parry, like, before he even does the attack. It's kind of insane. The fountain, yeah. Through, he literally attacked me through the freaking table. Almost. 
almost. I'm getting the hang of some of his some of his attacks, and I'm starting to stagger some of them. So it's all just a move set, and I gotta figure out the moves that he's doing. The straight edge you attack is like the, the, the 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 really big straight attack is the easiest one to to parry out of all of them so far. It's the most uh, readable. You can read when it's gonna happen. You know exactly when to parry it. It's it's actually pretty easy. Let's start out with one of these. Now that we actually have some idea of what we're doing. He is a pain in the butt. I think I'm too low level for him, too. I've almost killed him, like, three times. Which is stupid, because every single time I almost kill him, like, I get... Something happens, and I end up freaking messing it up, and then I don't kill him. It's... it's... it's dumb. Did you see my guy just randomly attack in the wrong direction? Like, I attacked the table. Um, I was literally trying to, uh, to, to go in the direction of behind him. And I, usually it locks onto him. And I think, I think I'm running into an issue, a similar issue that I had in Elden Ring, which was where the lock-on system would sometimes fail. So the system is locking onto him. And so my movements are based around the lock-on that it has on him. But then what happens sometimes is the lock-on fails. And and then you end up looking at the wall or something stupid like that. And it and it does end up screwing you up completely. Um, I think I think that's exactly what just happened there. Because all of a sudden I was attacking the table. Out of all things.
sure that I parried it. I did not parry it. Parry the platypus. Yeah, the cursor attacks in the direction, the, or the attack happens in the direction that you're facing with the cursor. The but there's also a whole other thing that goes on that when you're attacking a monster, specifically, that monster is locked onto it. You can see the lock on with like a little red dot that appears on the monster. So if the lock on fails and the lock on ceases to happen anymore, then you end up in a situation where your character goes in the direction of the, the cursor. But because you're kind of like relying on that lock-on in combat, the uh, the problem is, is that losing the lock-on while you're fighting a monster can be devastating. special attack anymore. Something's wrong. I, I can't... I can't right-click and I can't use my special attack. Why is it not letting me use my special attack? What? Every time I tried to use my special attack, nothing would happen. And then I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You look like the adventuring type. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let me right click. I was. I was literally trying to activate my special attack behind him, and it was just doing nothing. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing wrong. My special attack anymore. My special attack is broken. No matter what I do, the special attack will, will activate. Okay, so I just can't rely on my special attack anymore. All right. I guess I just, I'm just what I don't know. I guess I just get to break all my equipment for nothing. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do other than to leave and come back because without that special attack, I can't really do a whole lot. So let's uh, exit. We're going to exit and reload. Maybe my special attack will fix itself magically. I'm definitely not going back down there without it. Like, it's a huge boon to be able to hit that special attack. It doesn't cost any stamina. You build that meter when you're doing the regular attacks, so, like, it's basically just a free attack which you can get off without having to spend the stamina. And it does way more damage than your regular attack, too, so. Whenever you have a chance to use that on, on him, it's, like, a massive boon to the speed of the fight. So, not being able to use it is just, that's not, that's not good. That's not good.
I got stuck on that body. Just punch on him, punch with him then. Punch, punch, punch. I'm gonna get him. It's only a matter of time. I'm gonna get him. I know it's a rhyme. I wish I had killed him that first time that I was so freaking close. Weight class has changed to fast because you no longer have any equipment. I'm gonna go punch him to death. I don't have any money to repair my equipment anyway, so. No, I don't have any more food. I've got no more money. I've got no more nothing. This game literally bleeds you dry of everything, I swear. Like, the, the way that the game is set up is it just slowly bleeds you dry of all money and all healing potions and equipment and everything until eventually you Game's absolutely brutal when it comes to your equipment. I swear, it don't it don't care who you is, it don't care what you're doing. It, it'll it'll break all your equipment and everything you own and bankrupt you like very quickly. And there ain't much you can do about it other than like go outside and try and farm some stuff and hope you can like level up your character to to get some money that you can like pay your bills. Cause it's it's absolutely terrible. That's that's got to be the one thing I think so far that I don't like about the game is I don't like how brutally it drains you of all resources to the point where literally you have nothing left within a very short period of time. It doesn't it doesn't take very long before you know like one or two repairs later, like you're you're basically you've lost all your money and you got nothing left. They don't, they don't give you enough money, like, in the game to make up for how much they take from you, like, like every time you have to repair your equipment. Not to mention all the potions you have to spend, constantly. I don't even know why I came up here, there's nothing else. Oh, some barrels. All of your equipment is broken. Please visit the blacksmith. Is it all broken yet? Because it's not all broken yet. I still have gloves. I still have gloves on. Okay. You have broken everything I own yet. What the hell is that? Oh god, that was... Oh, okay. I was going to say that was not what I meant to do, but... Chests give like two gold? No, no. They don't give two gold. They give two copper. 
okay? And it takes 100 copper to make one silver. And it takes 100 silver to make one gold. They don't even give you one gold. They give you one copper. <laughs> All of your equipment is now broken. Congratulations. You have now reached complete and utter poor status. You are so poor. I should have been. You know what? I'm just gonna I don't know what these things are for. I really don't. These uh Good day to you. These what are they called? Uh fallen embers? I don't know what they're for. I really don't, but they're worth money. And uh and I'm probably going to regret doing this, but I'd like to be able to repair my equipment, so. The savior Warrior's only as good as his weapon. Oh, I, I wasn't, like, saying you were wrong, Josh. I was just saying it's even worse than to say one gold, because it's, it's not even one gold. It's, it's like one one thousandth of a gold like if you think about it from a certain perspective if it takes 100 copper to make one silver and it takes 100 silver to make one gold then technically it takes it takes 1000 copper to make one gold right which means that when they give you one copper in a chest they're giving you one ten thousandth one ten thousandth of a freaking, or one 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 thousandth of a freaking copper or a gold piece. Just one one thousandth. Man, I don't like sneaking up behind him. In fact, you know, I'm gonna wait until he comes out here because it's better. <laughs> I still can't use my special attack. Why can't I use my special attack anymore? Oh. I think I know why. Never mind. I think I just figured it out. Big combat. Nice. It's stupid, but I figured it out. Some resin in the glades for the rest of us. Ten thousand copper? My bad, yeah, ten thousand copper. Thank you, Augusta. I know the game is pretty amazing. I, I like the I like the graphics. <laughs>
staggered for me, are they? Fucking annoying. I had just came out of a roll and I was trying to execute the second roll to avoid the first. Mm. You look like the adventuring. Type. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up ever. I ain't giving up never. I ain't giving up ever, never, never, ever. I'll fight this boss for 17 hours straight. I don't freaking care. Let's go. I don't even think it's a ball. This is just a regular monster, technically. Why is he failing to freaking dodge? Just dodge, you turd. I hate when I press the button and nothing happens. Like, that's, that's what really gets me. Like, if he hits me and I, like, like I, I rolled wrong or something, I mean, then I can deal with it. But, like, half the time I'm literally hitting the button and that just doesn't do it. Take advantage of his stack. I swear every time I take advantage of his stack, I end up dying. I might, I might actually. All that clicking from ARPGs, and making it turn it into into mush. I don't know. I've had my fair share of issues with respect to authentication, um, specifically. Okay, just get me stuck in a corner. 
Uh, specifically Google um, Authenticator. I, I can't stand Google Authenticator anymore. Um, Google Authenticator is all nice and good if you have one phone and you only use that one phone ever and you never use another phone. Google Authenticator, however, becomes a restlessly pain in the buttocks if you ever switch phones. And every single time you switch phones, you have to re-up the authenticator, you have to re-put in all your codes, you have to redo everything every single time you get a new phone. And I've upgraded phones like four times since I started using Google Authenticator. And you know what? I don't use Google Authenticator anymore because it's garbage. That thing can go to hell. If they can't figure out a way to allow me to transfer my Google Authenticator between phones without having to set it up entirely all over again every single time, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, well, I'm still not touching it because I've already been locked out of several accounts because of the way that Google Authenticator works. So I'm not even I'm not even going to bother. I have two accounts that I literally can't get into anymore because... They were set up through Google Authenticator, and when I when my phone got destroyed because it got dropped on a toilet, um, and I didn't have the backup codes available, I basically was just locked out of those accounts eternally. I can now no longer access two of my accounts just simply because I used Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator can go to hell. me into the corner and I had absolutely no ability to defend myself and just started wailing on me in the corner like what am I supposed to do to that exactly except for die what I really think. I think that Google Authenticator is like the worst authenticator ever and that if anybody uses it for two-factor authentication, they're idiots. Some raisin in the for the rest Honestly, I got duped into it at a certain point and I was an idiot then too, but I'm smart enough to know not to use it anymore. It's not worth using and if that's the only way that you can, uh, you can two-factor authenticate your account, you might as well not even have an account with that particular service because it's not worth it. Also, it doesn't even work. You might be surprised to know that the two-factor authentication doesn't even work for half the things that it's supposed to work for. So, you know, like the entire idea of two-factor authentication is that, you know, you have to use it to get access to your account. Well, a lot of the companies will still let you have access to the account even if you don't have the two-factor authentication. Except for some of them won't. Those are the ones that lock you out of your account. time I take advantage of his stagger. He gets up so fast from this dagger that I literally can't even attack him one time by the time he gets out of his stagger. A true serious. Leave some raisin in the glades for the rest of us. It's not a matter of backing up your codes, okay? Look. Let me, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say you install Google Authenticator on your phone, all right? You generate the backup codes. The backup codes are not memorizable, okay? It's not like you're going to memorize Apple, Banana, Fart, Skull, Pork and Twist, Optimus Prime, Taco Bell. It's, and it's not even that easy. They're, they're usually like numbers and letters that are unmemorizable. 
So what do you do with them, right? You take a screenshot of them or you write them down in a notepad on your freaking phone. So if your phone gets destroyed, so too do the backup codes. And not everybody has a PC or is willing to sit there and type all of the codes out onto their PC so that they have them as a backup on a separate device. So if it doesn't back up on your device, then nothing is going to help you. Like, it's just going to get deleted. I have I had the backup codes on my device as well, saved in like a screenshot. And doesn't matter. The, the screenshot didn't back up with the device for some reason. I think it like recognized that it were backup codes. And so it didn't actually upload with the other backups to the Google Drive backup. Which means I didn't even have my backup codes when my phone got destroyed. It's stupid. It's it's 100% stupid, and it doesn't make any damn sense whatsoever. Maybe if the backup code was something simple, like, you know, a normal password that you might use, then it would make sense. But when the backup code is like 12 different words, all of nonsensical nature that you could never remember in a lifetime, that you basically have to write down and put in a safety deposit box, it's not cool. attacks repeatedly, but I'm not even really sure it's worth burying his attacks because he, he recovers so quickly from the stagger. I just don't know. You look like the adventuring type. What skull? Where's the skull? What skull? Skull for my face? What the hell do I have on the freaking... Boys. I got a plague acre. You go use that. Nice, he gave a plague liquor. That's the thing that upgrades my stuff. Okay, that was worth it. it took us forever, but we got it. Leave some resin in the glades for the rest. true serum. Why kill men for free when you can be paid to do it? 
Better this world, one body at a time. Okay, um, how do I accept this? So much past and so little present. Um, was it? it was bounty hunting, right? Within our walls, that's right. Turn in bounty. Kill the brutal couplet in the shallows. Let's go use the money that we got from this to go repair our equipment. Because <laughs> yeah, dang. Did we level up from that at least? Level 11 now, boys! Um, you know what that means. It's time to upgrade. Time to upgrade. Let's go get our... We're, we're gonna we're gonna sell our equipment that we currently have because we got a bunch of, like, god-tier equipment we're gonna throw on. Let's go Maybe ahead and get our god-tier equipment and let's start, start messing with it. Did it drop? I actually found a couple of these claymores as I was playing. I also dug one up from the dirt. The claymores seem to be pretty pretty common. I did eventually find a blue claymore though, which is what I'm using. But you can also just enchant a white claymore, which is pretty a pretty neat way that you can do it. Okay, so what are we gonna upgrade to? We're gonna upgrade to. Uh, where's, where's where's my level eleven do jinx? Where? Are you? Okay. Foreskin leather hat. Uh, everything looks so weird. Where's where where is you be? Where's you be? Where you be? There it is. Crest fallen knight body armor. And where's the other? I had one more level eleven piece. Um, I need that feather too because we're gonna take that feather and we're gonna put it in the armor. That's 21, that's 21, that's 21. Can I, can I like, sort these guys? Like, I'm just, just, it, it's just, there's no sorting to these at all. I can't even tell what's what because the icons are so strange looking. I don't, I don't recognize none of them. I don't see the level 11. I thought I had a level 11, like... Uh, I don't even know. No, I really don't know. I guess I didn't have a level 11, whatever. Alright, let's go see how we can upgrade this stuff. I guess we're going down to the beach. We Why go kill to the men for free when you can be paid to do it? All right. First things first. We need to infuse this really big, ridiculous, heavy armor with a. Uh, Why I felt the aura of your approach. With the feather. So we're going to infuse this with the feather, which is going to give us a much lighter body armor, hopefully. Um Greetings, Ward. Alright. Let's try equipping this stuff and see what happens. So we gotta equip this and this. And we're still like way over, unfortunately. I mean not like way, way over, but we're over. But our armor value though, look at our armor value now. Three hundred and twelve. We went up like Life crazy. And death in the balance. Let's uh, enchant the crestfallen armor. Bola. And let's Bola. enchant the boarskin leather hat. Health increased. Uh, oh, we got a we got a cursed item. Wow, four percent damage dealt on. 4% damage dealt on damage taken. 
Equip load increased by 17%. Healing effects increased by 26%. Poise defense increased by 13%. 11% l focus loss on damage taken. Okay, that sounds absolutely amazing. Sacrament and doors. I, uh, okay. That was a pretty good, uh, that's pretty good. That was pretty good dude. That was pretty good dude. I like that dude. All right, good. We can sell our original doodinks, and uh, we can get the money back for them, and then we can repair. Ah, this. Nothing safe. Hello, old friend. Good day to you. Fair. Warrior's only as good as his weapon. I did beat the big nasty dude, I ring. I did. And I beat the uh, the other little dude that was inside the war room. I did that as well. Okay, so we need to go all the way down to the shallows. That's where we're trying to we need to get to. So we don't we don't need to be up here anymore. We need to go to the shallows. We need to. There's a couple quests we got to do down in the shallows. So we just need to make our way down there now. Collect stuff as we go. Whatever. Blah blah. Oh, I see that. We need those herbs. Too, while we're at it, because we're gonna work our way down all the way. In case we die, we want to make sure we can respawn nearby. Oh, actually, I wanted to see what was in that hole, didn't I? That was that was something that I wanted to see. I wanted to see what was in that hole. What the hell is in this hole? I also have CFC trucks. It's uh really good. It's it's amazing. Walking, another traveler blind to the bounty under their feet. I am Marcos, artist of alchemy, purveyor of potions. If you're looking for some swill that'll turn your eyes yellow and your piss red, might I recommend a tavern? Then again, you carry the markings of the serum. Care to prove yourself the genuine article and earn the right to taste my elixirs? Inside this cave, there is a rare and potent flower, Iona's Bloom. Find the bloom, and if you are serum, then I can make you the horse promise that you'll see God. Okay. The potion seller. Jump all the way down to the bottom of the thing. Fucking jerk face. Of freaking villains down here. There's some copper ore down here, at least. There's flowers all over the place. Don't even 
drop nothing. Chest is certainly glowing over there. What a glowy chest. What chest is glowing? <laughs> chest over there. That's glowing. Everything's glowing in here. Give me some glowy stuff. If you've never played Ori in the Blind Forest, which is one of their earlier titles, man, I don't know what to tell you. They, they definitely know their artwork. Ori in the Blind Forest is definitely one of those games that has amazing artwork. Oh, did he kill me? He killed me, okay. I was trying to... I don't know what the hell I was trying to do. Trying to survive. That's all I was trying to do. I didn't realize there was two really bad boys up there. It was, that was a lot more than I was prepared for. Oh, there's a mine right there. I think, did I not pick up the ore? No, oh, I didn't pick up the ore. Pick up the ore, you dummy. I literally just walked right back out. <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, so that's gotta be kicked out. Just the axe guy to deal with this time instead of both, so. I don't <laughs> Frickin' axe guys. God bless it. I can't. Sometimes I can't just deal with how quickly they attack, and you can't really do anything to stop them from beating the crap out of you. Like, it's pretty much just, just stand there and take it sometimes. Like, parry? No. Like, shield block? No. Like, can you dodge out of the way? No. Like, you can't do anything. Like, sometimes you just get stuck in their rotation, and it's pretty much just eat the rotation or die. And if you can't eat the rotation, then you die. And you don't really have much choice of the matter. It's such a tight area that if he gets if he gets me in that like three hit combo, I can't dodge away because there's not enough room to dodge away. I can't um, I can't parry it because if I don't parry the first attack, then I'm not going to parry any of the subsequent attacks. So I'm basically just stuck in it. Let's see if I can sneak up on his butt. Is he is he looking at me? He uh, he is looking at me. Never mind. Ain't no sneaking. Unless maybe I can kind of jump up here. Yeah. Oh, that's 
Nope, nope, you're not gonna get me stuck in your stupid combo. Nope, I'm coming down here. Come on down here. Come on. Come on down here. I'll be ready for you. Yeah, yeah. Not so cool, is it? Crimson Guard Shield. 30 weight, 263 defense. Wow. That's a lot of defense. Fresh yeah, sit down. Nobody likes you anyway. Scythe of the Wretches. Two-handed weapon. Requires 16 dexterity and 16 faith. Hmm. Before the pestilence rotted their minds and limbs, the Nith used the scythes to harvest swamp gas roots. Okay. okay. Something I forgot to do in town, I need to go do. I forgot to turn in that icker. I got two icker. I gotta go up to the uh, the top of the tower. Which I can get there from here. Why oh, kill men for free them. when you can be paid to do it? The icker gives you things like more inventory space or um, actually more ring slots is kind of neat. I've only found like two rings so far though, so. Well, I found three, but I sold one because it was crap. I mean, this isn't going to be on console until it's out of early access. They basically said that part of early access was that it was on PC only. So it's not going to be on Game Pass, at least until it leaves early access. Uh, oh, you've gathered more torn blood. Ugh. Here. Yes, of course. But be careful. Little Sella, she's always underfoot. Who? Master, who did you... Come, Serim. Let the dark into your veins. Okay, so we can get plus one main hand slot, uh, plus five inventory gear. Honestly, what we need more than anything um, seems to be resource inventory slots. We never have enough resource inventory slots, so... And I guess we gotta do it again. Oh, wonderful. Here, Give it within this. All right, so we got five more resource slots. We could also add another ring slot, which would give us a third slot in case we find another ring. I think the ring slot's a good play, but um, I also think just having more resource slots is really important right now. Just being able to hold on a large amount of resources is great. Yeah, we need we need lots of grubby paw slots. We're holding on to all those grubby paw materials. See, now we have a large number of resource slots. A lot more than we had before. We can hang on to more stuff. That's what we need. I think that's the best play right now because there's just so much, there's so many resources and uh, when we're out there harvesting resources and we're trying to bring it all home, we end up filling up with resources so fast that we just don't, we don't have enough. 
And it's not just that the resources, but we also have to hold on to, like, specific resources for, you know, crafting, say, um, the, uh, like, the food and stuff. So, like, we have, a, we have a certain amount of resources that always has to be in our inventory no matter what because we're constantly needing to craft food. What would I rate this game out of 10 so far? I mean, it's easily a 9. Easily. There's definitely some problems with it. It's, it, it's, that are making me take off that extra point, but, like, it's early access. This is, like, the first version of the game that they've released to the public. I can't imagine that in the future they won't enhance and fix Why a lot of the problems with the game. You can be paid to do it. Like, I, I do feel like as of right now, and it, this could disappear, but I do feel right now that the repair system or the durability system is a little skewed. It's not quite as as good as it should be. Um, also, I mean, that's some of the other things that are making me take a point off are like the, the controls aren't customizable, which is really weird. You can't, you can't customize the controls. Like, I can't change my parry button to something else if I want to change the parry button to something else. It's really kind of weird to have a game this far to the future, you know, that you can't customize your equipment, your, 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 you know, your buttons. Like, have you guys played a game where you can't customize your buttons? Like, any time that's been within, like, the recent time period? I feel like any time recently, games all have customizable buttons. Um, which is odd. It's odd to me that there's no customizable buttons on the, on the game. Um, I mean, the art style is amazing. Uh, freaking, I like the weapons and how they attack. There's a, like, there's so many different weapons to play with. I've already played with a couple of them so far, but I'd really like to actually get a chance to play with all of them. Um, I think that's one negative as well that I'd like to add is that is that you want to play with all the weapons and you want to test them and see how they work, but because of the stat requirements on the weapons, you're often restricted from using the weapons. Like I just found a scythe, and I'd love to be able to use this scythe right now, but I can't because I don't have 16 dexterity and 16 faith, and I'd love to use this cursed crone staff and test it out and see how that's like, but. I can't because that requires 16 uh, focus, I think is what that is. And then, like, I found this unique sword, and I can't use any unique sword because that requires 22 strength and 22 um, faith, which I don't have. So, like, it's, it's weird because they have this very interesting system of items and, you know, that you can, like, like all these crazy things that you can do, but then at the same time you can't test any of them out because you don't have the stats to test them out. Um, I guess I need to find out if there's, like, a, um, a vendor that can reset my stats so that I can sit there and play with it. Hopefully it's not too expensive to reset my stats and, like, play with the items and see which ones I like. Um, I'm really not sure. hell is this? Iona's Blue. I'm high. High as a kite, my boys. High as a kite. A stag hoof? What the hell? What the 
hill. I can't see nothing, I'm high as a kite. What the hell am I even doing up here? Everything's so sparkly. There's not a time limit on my funky, funky cold Medina over here. The funky cold Medina. What the hell are you even like? I'm gonna fall straight off into the darkness over here. I got the mushroom vision, that's right. Ain't nothing wrong with the mushroom vision. kind of seems like you can get up right here like there's a spot where you like almost you can like climb the entire thing I did it like two or three times now that chest, but whatever. Oh, he killed me and he took away my mushroom vision. Funky mushroom vision. Nothing over there.
Kill this guy over here. Okay. So we get this. We couldn't get up to that guy. Oh, god dang. <laughs> Dude, why didn't he jump? He's supposed to jump. I was holding down the shift key. He just ran straight off. No, why you do this, man? You know what? I don't. You know, I don't even know why he did that. That's, I think he just committed suicide. That's all I think. Was that was? He just committed suicide. Decided that was the end. Have I won yet? No, I'm having fun though. I killed lots of demons and monsters and stuff. And I got I got three ickers so far and I upgraded my do janks and then it got um I got a unique weapon and uh I got some new fancy armors. Look at my new fancy armors. Look I got a cursed crestfallen night body armor with the 150 defense and I got some do janks on it. You know, that is not what I wanted to do. That is not, that is not correct. That is not correct. Is there a pathway from here? Mm -hmm. Well, there is, look, but we just gotta jump. I knew there was going to be a way to get over here. Because it didn't look like there was a way to get over here normally. We got something We're coming over. Cause I'm high. I was about to say, did my creepy mushroom wear off? No, no. Don't wear off, creepy mushroom. I need you. The helmet has a pig nose. It's called a boar helmet. It's called a, that's what it's called. It's called a boar skin leather hat. It's literally like the head of a pig. It's a boar skin. not to run directly off into the death realm this time. Where's that gap at? That gap is right here. Alright. We need to jump the gap, please, this time. Not just fall directly into the gap. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on. Up to days. It's like a Mack truck. I got like 10 trillion defense. He freaking ripped right through it. Oh. This is getting a little annoying right here. Which is having to run all the way back here. Get my dude jank. Go all the way back through the pathways. All the way back up there. Just to fight this dude. He's got them quick weapons. I can't, I can't really deal with the quick weapons as well with this big dude here. Oh yeah, super fun so far, Dark TV. Or Dark TV. Been having a blast. I've been streaming for about, uh, what, 12, 13, 14, almost 
almost 15 hours. Honestly, I'm kind of tired. That's what good games do to you. Eh, cramp. Cramp, cramp, cramp. Oh, no, cramp. Oh, 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 cramp. Ah, oh, 15 hour cramp. Oh, no. Oh, that's the cramp at 15 hours. Ah, uh, 15 hour cramp. Uh. Okay, jump it. Thank you. Fallen Archer to 73 defense. It's only five oh, weight, though. Only five weight. Mm -hmm. Alright, he did. Alright. There's nothing else up here. I'm assuming if I fall from here, I'm dead. Oh my dear Lord Jesus! Did you see that? There was like 30 bombs coming at me. I barely even stayed on the platform. They said, stay on the platform. I'm like, all right. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't stay on the platform. Ah. Okay. Well, that was I, apparently, I think you just gotta sprint through. I think that's what it is. I just didn't know where to go. So, like, I don't. What am I supposed to sprint through? I don't. I don't even know the pathway. Now I kind of know the pathway, but I'm, I guarantee I'll probably still end up falling. Plus, I had damage, battle damage from fighting that guy, so my HP wasn't really at topped up. Don't gotta fight the guy now, so we can skip right past that. Right, we can be careful up to a certain point. Like it's not like, it's not like we gotta. Mac, oh, 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 Herka jerk battle jitney. Oh, I can't believe I, I survived that. Okay, as soon as we come around this bend, we gotta book it. Oh, 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 yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop burning everything! Oh my god! Oh my dear Lord Jesus! Can't get out. Let's see what's inside. Hmm, we'll see what's inside nobody. I was so excited to get up there, too. I made it past the gauntlet of explosions. 
and ran past the big dude throwing bombs at me. Now my pants and my sword and my helmet are, bro are breaking. Oh, who needs pants and a helmet? You don't need your head kept safe. And everybody gets to see your wiener if you don't wear pants today. Hey ho, no pants, Joe. Come on down. Hey, let's go. Hey ho, come on down. No pants, Joe. Oh, we don't want to let nobody know what's going on in the snow because we don't got no pants, yo. My name is No Pants Joe. I'll punch you in the face. I'll kick you in the nuts. I don't care about none of that because, boy, I am nuts. Take the armor off? What do you mean? Why am I taking my armor off? To prevent myself from burning to death? kill him, but I also kind of want to, like, get to the next part on this doojank. <sighs> okay. Hey. Some more. Iron ore and granite. Do it, did I do it, did I do it, do it, do it? What exactly did I do? I don't know. What am I what am I supposed to do? Jump down the waterfall? Pickaxe shattered. Okay, well that sucks. That was an iron pickaxe too. I didn't realize my tools were breaking. God, do I really want? I don't want to go back and fight that guy. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Just jump down here? Hey look, some more stuff I can't mine. So my pickaxe is broken. Hey, it's the ladder. Alright, Bob, have a good night, man. Well, well, that is a ten thousand apologies. But I had to know if you were a true seller. Iona's bloom shows Selim that which is otherwise left unspoken and poisons anyone else who touches it. Perhaps you are worthy. Here, a token for your efforts and for your most amusing foolishness. You say you came by way of sacrament. I hate the city. Maybe there are more people there deserving of my gifts. Yes, a decision. I shall enter its walls and offer my services. Uh, once I catch this damn beetle. Hi, 
I come from a long night. Okay, so now we have a potion dude in town, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. We've got a potion dude in town now. Challenge. So there's apparently two things we gotta do here. One is find the innkeeper's wife or the ta tavern wife. Or husband, sorry, husband. And the other one is uh, apparently there's some sort of monster here that we need to kill. Augusto, have a good one, man. Come up here. updated a savage pair human bone oh play gicker nice we can upgrade our sword again okay i guess there's two of them i make sure this hurts Let me 
Mariner's Sea Legs. <sighs> okay. Get some more trees while we're here. What we need. Get all the resources I can, honestly, because if I don't, uh, I'll go broke really fast. Sometimes it feels like I have a lot of resources, and then I go broke. Then I'm like, oh, I guess I didn't have that much resources after all. There's a rat in there. What's up, Mr. Rat? Experience loss on damage taken. Chance to gain health on damage taken, 12%. Equip load increased by 15%. Focus gain increased by 15%. Wow. Okay. Uh, but experience loss on damage taken sounds absolutely terrible. But the pants themselves sounds absolutely amazing. They literally give you uh, a 12% heal when you take damage, which means that you could potentially be invincible with them, but every time you take damage, you also lose EXP, <laughs> which means you would keep leveling down as you were surviving. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. Crestfallen... Boys defense by 14%. What's mine? Yeah. Health increase by 11. I mean, not really not too much better or worse than each other. They're both kind of crappy. He killed me and I killed him at the same time. We double KO'd. Are you kidding me? Freaking double KO's. Oh, crap. I'm here. Uh, dang it. That means I'm all the way up here. I don't want to be all the way up here. Ah, oh, you died. Play Diablo 4 since season one. The game has completely changed since season one. It's not even the same game anymore. <laughs> I don't even, uh, people who haven't played since season one, uh, they're in for a stark awakening if they ever pop the game back open because it's not even the same game anymore. It's, it's changed so completely and so ridiculously that like, 
Yeah, you won't you won't even know what the hell you're doing. Like, I hate to say it. You won't even you won't even know what the hell you're doing. That was that's where I was going anyway. Dang, I ain't even going. Jeez. State of PTR is probably the craziest one to watch because it's there's like so much different in there. Who is that a halberd? Regal cleft two-handed halberd requires 16 dexterity. Attack deal 7% electric damage. Okay, 9% focus on kill. Kill. Sailor's slops. Interesting. We found some new janks. Look at us. Tomato bisque recipe. I like that. That sounds good. I also got an AXP potion. Alright, so to put on that sword, the other stat that we need for that sword is the hands praying, which is faith. So we need faith. to dodge in the last second there and it just didn't work. Yeah, dang it. And I need to repair. I got acres to turn in anyway. I 
I mean, I don't really expect it to be Diablo 2 resurrected. A man with untainted blood is a man unfulfilled. Uh. The only thing I really ever expected was, uh... <laughs> the only thing I really ever expected was it for it to not to be Diablo 3, which was which was my main concern. <laughs> I just didn't want it to be Diablo 3. D3 became a really good game. Well, I don't know. Only D3 ever became a really good game. No, these are my I played it. I played it a lot. I should have played I'm, I'm, I played it more than I should have, especially for someone oh, who. I kill men for free when you <laughs> do it Especially for God. someone who hates it. You'd be like, but you hated it. Why would you play it so much if you hated it? I don't know. I don't know why I play things that I hate. I do to new way. So what do you think, Saddam? A humble arrangement. But yes, yes. Soon even the birds will envy my plumage. My concoctions will haunt the dreams of the lustful, uh, the weary, the spurned. And you, of course. You're always welcome to sup strength and wisdom from me. Malformed skull. Small vial of focus recipe. Poise. Cross scale oil. Spark scale oil. Interesting. Boar skull? 50? 50 for a boar skull? Must be a rare piece of equipment. Maybe it's time you trade in that silly outfit for a uniform. Yeah, I forgot I do actually have to go to work tomorrow. Sometime. Sometime tomorrow. Okay, so we can make Dujanks now. A tomato bisque is tomatoes and lithops, which we can't make. We can, however, make the mushroom and meat curry or the crab chowder. I think this is the better one. And then we'll make as many of these as we can. And then make some mushroom soups too, why not? What's up, Teresa? Alright. 
Alright, I want to take out all of the... Uh, what is it? Wood. Clay. Um, copper. I want to go turn that into what's his face. See if I can get anything else upgraded. Well, I get the feeling that the developers who are making this game are really passionate. I can feel the passion like oozing. Oozing out of the game. It's oozing out of there. I just wish I was. Why uh, kill men for free when you can be paid to do it? Going on. Going on 15 hours. I'm a little sleepy, but uh, honestly, I kind of want to keep playing. If it wasn't for the fact that I had to work sure tomorrow. Are you sure to be run? He's got no odds. Mm. True. He abandoned. So much more wood. I need 10, 20, 30, 40, 44. I need 44 more wood. Some resin in the glades for the rest of us. Stay back. I'll not be confused. Serim. You and your family all play Command and Conquer? Command and Conquers are fun. You ever played Dune back in the day? Dune 2000? I like that game. That was one of my favorite favorites. Love to see that thing remastered. That'd be cool. Oh god! What the hell? <coughs> Where'd all the spicy monsters come from? They weren't there before. Dang, I already lost all my HP. <sighs> Gotta get a different save point in here. There's a pickaxe. What's this? I heard about them releasing a Dune RDS game. I'm actually kind of excited. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I don't know if they, uh, if it's been like fully released or not. But I did not have a chance, unfortunately. Being a YouTuber is rough. Like, you get all these games coming out, and then you get like your main game that you play, and then like by the time you're finished, you know, it's it's kind of difficult to keep up with all of it. Some more. 
any thousands of millions of frickin' iron ore. Or copper ore. I need iron ore, too. I need a lot. I need a lot of them. I still need to find this lady's husband. to do <laughs> oh man the auto jump system is a little much sometimes it's a little much demo, huh? dangerous thing in this game. Basically, whenever you have the shift key held down, your character will just automatically jump when approaching your jump location. Even if, and, and the sense is silly thing, even if it's a freaking ladder, they will still jump over the ladder. It's really weird. My dear Lord Jesus, it takes me so long to get out of here every single time. I don't want to... I just want to not be at this spawn point ever again in my life. I'm so tired of it. I'm ready to... I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here at this spawn point. I came in this cave a long time ago. I don't want to be in this cave anymore. I mean, I like the D2's original graphics. I think they're um, a, a, an acquired taste. You know, like it's just it's a it's an art style. I think it's a it's a very interesting art style. I think if the, somebody were to redo Diablo 2's original graphics in the art style that they were created in, I think they could be very interesting and very fun. Uh, the problem with those old graphics, though, is they're sprites. So you would have to spend some time to redo the sprites in a higher resolution. And you'd have to basically set up the entire game in, like, you know, like 4K or whatever with, like, 4K sprites and stuff. It would probably be very reminiscent of, um, if you guys have ever played those new Square Enix games, the ones that are, like, new graphics with old style. Um... What are they called? Um, Octopath Traveler. If you've ever played Octopath Traveler, Octopath Traveler is amazing. It's very, very beautiful graphics. 
but it's old graphics, just made in a new style, in, in like a new engine with like new, you know, like 1080p, 4K resolutions and stuff. And it actually works. It works surprisingly well, and it's really nice. It's, uh, it's, it's, I, I can't even explain how nice it is. I actually had a lot of fun playing Octopath Traveler, and I liked the, uh, I liked the graphics. I thought it was amazing. Hey, what's up, Willadelphia? I absolutely adore this game so far. I've been having a blast. I'm currently, um, 15 and a half hours in. Still having a blast. I think I'm going to be playing this for the next couple of days. Until I beat it or exhaust my, my interest in it, one or the other. Big boy's about to come out and try and, and clap our cheeks here soon. You can freaking fight this guy. Like, what the ham biscuit? Just keeps slapping me in the face and interrupting my attacks a little. Face slapping monster. Skull by his name. I guess that means he's dang gangerous. Or maybe it's just he's part of a quest. Yeah, that's the bounty. Stuff's back over there too. Let's pick it up. I don't know what it is, but let's go get it anyway. Is this chest over here also back? Dang it. I said he's on top of the old bridge, which is over here. Okay, let's hit this one so we don't have to come back to that other one.
God's reach, finally someone heard. I was out fishing for clams when a pack of the Risen came through. I thought I could make my way across the old bridge and out the other side of Mariner's Keep. But this fort's in worse shape than I am. The board's rotted out behind me, and the ladder ahead is pulled up. <laughs> Last time I tried to be clever. Please, see if you can find another way around before I end up like that poor sod over there. We found Cordon is on a trapped on the broken bridge. Need to find another way around for him. So we need to get the ladder down basically. Hmm. Probably need to go up to the castle and go all the way around. So we go into the castle and we kill all the monsters. Mushrooms, we the picking, picking all the muscaroons. I've played uh, Tomb Raider games, and I feel like a lot of Tomb Raider games have a lot of like cliff hanging and climbing, and like I don't know, it's not quite the same as this game. That kind of stuff and this kind of stuff is a little weird. It's weird to compare the two, I mean, especially like the original Tomb Raider games where you had to like, hop, 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 and you like, boop, 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 boop. boop. Boop, boop. Whoop. Like, eh, I don't know. It's a little, a little, it's a little tight of a comparison, I feel like. It's not, it's not, it's not real good. It's not, it's not good. I mean, they handcrafted the world, so of course they want you to explore it. There's a lot of ARPGs that have handcrafted worlds. Grim Dawn has a handcrafted world. Attacks deal 28% bonus damage. Yeah. B. 
digging up stuff, digging up stuff, digging corpses out the ground. Bones and rings and crowns and things and digging up all the stuff in the ground. The Weeping Earth, two-handed great hammer, 32 damage, 30 weight, or 30 breaking power. Balance Smash requires 16 Strength and 16 Faith, which we do not have 16 Faith yet. Big honkin' hammer, big honkin' hammer, oh big ol' honkin' hammer. Won't you give me a big ol' honkin', a big ol' honkin' hammer. Ooh, a Shimiter. 22 Dexterity required. Oh, he's got one. Oh, he's got one. He's got one of those hammers. It's a big and I don't like it. He's a got one of the dudes. I don't like that. He's a got one. He's a got a hammer boy. Him's a mean and him's a grody and he wants to kick my foot. got such wicked two-handed combos, man. Like, how you got such a big hammer like that? You would have like ten times in a row. That doesn't seem right to me. Right. Foreskin leather tunic. I'm guessing it makes you look like a pig. Pig. Do I look like a pig? <coughs> Do I look like a pig? Check around here, yeah. Dirty minds of you guys got. Besides, can you imagine how many foreskins that would take? Like that's a lot of foreskins. So you guys are you guys are you guys are disgusting. You guys is disgrosticating, that's what y'all is. Disgrosticate. Disgrosticated, disgrosticated, disgrosticated. Ow. I didn't say disgusting, I said disgrosticated.
Ooh, don't compare it to Diablo 3. This game's a thousand times better than Diablo 3. And my shovel's probably gonna break. Probably gonna shatter, but that's okay, I'ma dig anyway. Till it shatters in my hand. Kick down the ladder! There you go, man. Huh? You have my thanks, traveler. Any more time stranded up here and I'd be eating my shoes. Wife's gonna kill me. I think I'll keep this between us, if it's all right with you. I know Caroline sees me as the heroic sort. Wouldn't want to dispel her of that notion. <laughs> Gordon, I hate to tell you, but I don't think she cares about you at all, buddy. I don't think she cares about you at all, buddy. Not even a little bit. I mean, good cooks do, right? Good cooks do. If you don't know what it tastes like, what are you serving? Yeah, at least know what the hell you're serving. Alright, so we rescued my boy, we did a bunch of quests. It's time to go back to town, I think. Repair up. Check and see what uh, quests we do next. Honestly, we should probably just go up there and collect loot on the way. might not have been in the right place, but usually it does a lot down there. And sometimes it won't even freaking attack at the direct side of the attacking. I'm really holding the mouse over here and it's attacking wherever it wants to. What the hell? That was through a wall machine gun. I don't even know what the hell I what the hell that is that. Oh, okay, it was like a it was like a swiping attack, but I couldn't see it because it was happening through the wall. Claw. I needed that to upgrade my uh, my armor, but I think uh or my weapon. I need that to upgrade my weapon. It's a bunch of chests up there. Uh huh. Oh, 
Jesus, there's like three of them in there. What am I supposed to deal with that? There's like a, uh, there's a chest in there. I'm going go back. Oh, what Wolf skull. That seems important. See if we can get a wolf fang from him. Fallen Night Helm. Interesting. Conjurer's pants. I got some pants. I got the helm to go with my armor. <laughs> it looks so silly. Oh my god, why does this look so silly? Oh lord. Hmm. <laughs> Borderlands is basically like, what if we took Diablo and turned it into a first-person shooter? And it works. It's silly, and uh, and I mean, the itemization is a little little terrible. It's not the greatest in the world. It's there, but it's not it's not amazing. But I mean, for what it is. It it works. It works. I 
I think Borderlands 1 and 2 are better than 3, but that's just me. Sources as I can, so I can make some more potions. Trying the never ending grind here. Again, haha. -ha. All right, we need more faith. We need the faith, the faith, the faith, the faith, the faith. I believe now that means we can use um. What is that? The hammer? We can play around with the hammer. Let's play around with the big old honking space hammer. Oh god, that's the. Wish it hits like a Mack truck though. Just go test it on this guy's face. Interesting. It's slow. How is the replayability of this game? Um, a little soon to be asking a question like that. <laughs> it is a little soon. I mean, I really don't have an answer to that question because I just don't. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't know if anybody has an answer to that question right now because nobody knows. We've only just started playing the game today, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to figure out what the replayability of something is when you literally only just started playing it. I mean, eventually, I guess we'll figure it out. Also, it's not really finished yet either, so... Aw, 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 aw. Rude, rude, rude. I mean, my guess is, and I can make a guess for you, is that um, because it's a handcrafted world, which basically means that it was created um, by hand, it's going to be a very fun first playthrough. Um, handcrafted worlds tend to be much better um, than regular playthroughs, or than, than like uh, procedurally generated playthroughs. Uh, however, after a couple playthroughs of, you know, you playing the game in this handcrafted world, you're going to learn the handcrafted world. And as you learn the handcrafted world, you're not going to be as uh, enticed by it. Such as, um, so it's going to it's going to be less enticing as you play it because it's not going to change. Like, it's not a procedurally generated world, so every time you go through it'll be pretty much the same now they did say that like the monsters were changing like as you went through the world though which was neat and I've been experiencing that so like the first time I went through an area it was like some relatively weak monsters and the second time I've gone through the area it's actually considerably tougher monsters the second time and um, populating the area with tougher monsters is certainly interesting like down here is one of those monsters I was having trouble with earlier
That's a toughy one right there. I think I might skip him. I'm trying to farm materials and build up my wealth, not tear it down. Yeah, I went over the roadmap earlier at the beginning of the stream. They talked about like their general plans for the game, multiplayer support, um, all sorts of things that are apparently coming. Build up on resources. Okay, let's eat these. <laughs> I didn't expect him. Okay, back to town. Okay, back to town. Add 7% electric damage and gain 9% focus on kill. Spin crush. I do like that gain 13% health on Perry. It's really nice. I'm not sure about that hammer. Enchanting this new helmet. And death in the balance. Or, but no, it's not news. Um, I felt the enchant helmet. Enchant the pants, too. Let's see what we got. Oh, dang. Experience loss on damage taken again. Serum? Whew. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not putting no on. <laughs> I'm not putting either one of these on. It's not, no, it's not happening. I don't want to lose EXP on damage taken. That's terrible. It's 
Experience gain increased by 3% plague resistance. Okay. Uh, that's fine. The shield's pretty beastly. I feel like we should enchant the shield, too. Probably end up using this shield. <laughs> Gold loss on death. Dang it. I guess not. We're not. I guess we're not using that shield. Never mind. How good is this game? Is it worth it to buy? It's currently in early access. So I don't know exactly how far the extent of the game is. I can tell you that I've been playing for, uh, what, 12 hours plus 4 hours, so 16 hours. I've been playing for about 16 hours, and honestly, I'm actually having a blast. So at least for the for what I've been able to do so far, I'm having a lot of fun. Alright, well, I'm not using gold loss on Death Shield. Um, I'm not keeping the Conjurer Trousers. <laughs> Uh, this nail laden club is interesting, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. Uh, this shield, I guess, is better than the shield that I have. Can't use it though, because I need 22 dexterity, so that's a no. Um. Sacrament and doors. Life and. Healing Aura. Chip diamond. What the hell is a chip diamond, dude? I felt the gain more experience, lose experience on death. Uh what? What about in a weapon? Same thing. Eyes up. Okay, that's a little weird. Experience loss on damage taken sounds horrible. Like, even though they look like they could potentially keep me alive forever, I just can't, I can't see ever using them, so I think I'll sell them. And I have no idea whether it down levels you or not either, so that's like a whole thing. Everything is your price! Oh lord, I hope not 10,000% damage increase. Good lord. So much Why cost. kill men for free? So you can present. be paid. Do it for... Alright, let's go talk to the innkeeper lady. She should have her husband back. I should have been. she's not happy. She's like, oh, he's back. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. We still don't have a place to cook, so. You know what? You need to get on a chair. That's probably, it's a, it's a that's probably about the gist of it. My Gordon found his way home. No thanks to you. No, what? What? Other husbands wander in, stinking of cheap perfume. 
Mine comes home smelling of cheese and jam. <laughs> so you're a Serum, eh? No, I don't know much about your kind, but I know you're not from around here. As long as you're not Dasher, you're welcome in my inn. Oh, well, what's left of it anyway? I've been trying to get that maker Danos to help me repair it for weeks. But everyone in this city's bloody useless. <sighs> oh well. I suppose you're no different than the rest. At least my Gordon's got a nice soft belly for me to rest my head on. <laughs> Dang, she called him fat. We need to talk to my boy up here. This island, where have you been? Right, about fifty nine minutes, and Caroline's Inn will be finished. Nine minutes and we get Marco's alchemy stand. Nine minutes and we get Fillmore Smithy. Um, unlocks the sewing table for crafting cloth and leather armors, as well as the spinning wheel to refine threads into garments. Some of the ruins on this island were built by your kind many ages ago. I won't go near them. Fearsome and natural they are. Small every year. The city keeps shrinking. The timer it's up in the right? I think it's just day and night time. Stay back. I'll not be holding. I know the workings of your kind. Speaking what should remain unsaid, whispering at the edges of our world. It's unnatural. Well, those are terrible. I don't know where those came from. I don't know where they came from, but they're terrible. We're not getting 16 dexterity anytime soon, so we're not using this scythe. We must just sell it. Same thing with the halberd. I hate to say it, but we're not getting 16 dexterity, so... 
Uh, I kind of want to try it out, but... And the scimitar requires 22 dexterity. Which is even worse. Be silent as a whisper, or loud as a thunderclap. Why kill men for free? talk to, uh, to we got another Icker, so let's go talk to the Icker. I've got a third ring now, so let's activate the third ring slot, I guess. Seems like a good idea. Okay, so we can activate the last ring slot. Or add more five resources. I think we're going to do the ring slot because it's going to help beef us up a little bit, make us a little bit stronger. I mean, we'll get more Ickers. But now we can put a third ring on. We've got three rings on our inventory now. Hmm. What other quests do we have? Potion Siller is finished. Of Rats and Raiders is finished. Servant of God. We have been summoned by Madrigal Selene. We must travel to the Nameless Pass northeast of Sacrament to meet her if we can. Spilled Blood. A Skunk Scholar named Roan advised us that we, if we collect any more plagued Icker during our travel, we should bring port. it back to the Watcher and Sacrament Rookie. Rookery. Okay, so that's, I've already pretty much done all those. I can go to Mariner's Keep and kill wolves. And we've got these random objectives which suck and don't really, they don't really let us turn the things in. I think I went this way before, and there was a bunch of monsters over there. Okay, so this is the name of the ass. This is my work too, though. You know? This is my work too. It is, it is. Oh, okay. 
And you another one's fish there. Gangrenous eel. Not enough space in my inventory. So I got too much crap in here. A potato. Taters, precious. Taters. Taters. Guy stuck on the stairs. I feel bad. He didn't even have stands. Because he was stuck on the chair. Stairs. He got murdered. Wretchy the arch. Electrical resistance 24, gain 5% focus on kill. Hmm. I mean, not really better than mine. <laughs> I owe you a paycheck for what? Nothing that direction but a wrecked quarry, a closed gate, and now an army of inquisitors. Ugh, disquieting they are. I see Ellsworth marching with them. <laughs> Finally graces the pass with his presence. How you living, Orvin? Could you use some help with a farm, Orvin? Nah, he didn't say nothing. Mainland looks down at her isles. Sacrament at those living outside her gates. Get in there. I wanna get in there. Stuff in there. I wanna go in there. Go on in. Tanith Outrider Gloves. Armor increased by 8%. Poise defense increased by 11%. Uh, that's their way higher defense than mine at 29. Huh. Really? For seven gold? I mean, seven copper? They made me walk all the way out on a tree for seven copper. Oh, I don't 
got a pickaxe. Okay. Guess I'll just miss out on all that amazing <laughs> stuff. Spruce. It's taking a hell of a lot more to break down this tree than it did the other ones. Yeah, this be spruce because I don't got any inventory space for it. Um. Ah, oh, you did. Aha, uh -huh, chop your arm off. Tattered jute tunic and it's perp. Damage taken increased by 19%. 1% damage dealt on damage taken. Equip load increased by 10%. Healing effects increased by 18%. That's terrible. It's cursed. It's cursed. That's what that is. It's cursed. 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 That's the answer. Oh my dear Lord Jesus. Why you jump down like that like an idiot? I don't understand. I know that you know which way to go, but you didn't go that way. Swing low, sweet axe warrior. Coming for the Axe Warrior meme. Got some pants, some wilding pants. Armor increased by 15%. Eh? Those might be better than mine. Uh, armor increased by 15%. And also stamina regenerate. And items weight decreased. And. Yeah, these are, I think these are better. Wait. Are they slightly heavier? Yeah, they're slightly heavier. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm already in heavy, heavy status anyway. Oh, what's over here since I killed Big Boy? So that's just like a way up for later. Oh, cooking up some crab rangoon. Gonna cook up all that crab rangoon. Gonna make some meat and curry. Gonna cook up all the meat and curry. Oh, crab ring, ooh, crab ring. Oh, 
Oh, God. Wolfies. Wolf kidneys. They got teeth, don't they? I need fangs. I mean, what were they trying to bite me with? Gums? I ain't got one fang in there. I need one fang. I killed two wolves. I got no fang. Two wolves, no fang. This bull crap. Depends on where you live. Virginia can be cheap. Of course, you also end up in some pretty bad areas. The more bougie areas are expensive. But those areas are bougie. Kind of curious, how am I supposed to get down? <laughs> no, Mr. Ball, we expect you to die. <laughs> That's pretty much what I expected. Some of the counties out here are literally voted like worst counties in the world. Like in the whole United States, there's literally like certain cities here in the Virginia that are literally within that that uh, like worst cities in the in the United States. Oh man, really? I'm all the way back here? Oh god, bless it. That's like nowhere near where I was. Oh, I kill men for free. When you Do it for God. So I think that lady's house is done. I don't know. Or I don't, I don't know which one is done, actually. All weapons and in a point. Do you see? My stall blossoms. My no recipes clear. learned yet. Did I finish the work for blacksmith thing? Can I actually, like, use the furnace now? May you will oh, yeah. I can make, like, copper and iron. What about the anvil? I got the spear in here. Wire 16 dexterity. As good as his weapon. Which I don't have. Woohoo. From 
humble acum chipper and table of you. Ooh, an iron woodcutter's axe? What? I would like that. He's got bows. Why cut them slugs when you can burn life? Let's see if she he's got a freaking uh any iron tools. I upgraded him. I wonder if he does. Many thanks. Yeah, he's got an iron pickaxe. Nice. I want that. Sacrament and guardian pants. Sacrament Guardian Helmet, Sacrament Guardian Gloves, Sacrament Guardian Armor. It's all worse than what I'm currently wearing, except for the pants. Pants are better. I can always buy the pants and imbue them. See what they come out of. Let's give it a try. The they definitely seem to uh, to help the uh, like I don't, I don't know I'm not really sure how to put it. And you wait no 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 enchant we want to enchant. Armor eight percent heat resistant healing effects increased item durability is increased. Nice now we got some china melee pumps. Some chan mali pons, chan mali pons. Look at my beautiful chan mali pons. Why cut and slice when you can burn and freeze? Chan mali pons, chan mali pons. Look at my chan mali pons, chan mali pons, chan mali pons. I got chan mali pons, chan mali, chan mali, chan mali pons. I got chan mali pons. Life and death in the battle. Focus Bowler. regeneration. Bowler. Nine to thirty electric damage on parry. That's interesting. Be silent as a whisper, or loud as a thunderclap. Ah, right, what's this boy got? Corrosive bomb blueprint, medium vial of stamina, cross flask, storm flask, flame flask, medium vial of poise, focus. Like, some of these I'm not really too concerned with. I don't really care about. Like, I've gotten to the point where I just don't really think that these poison ones are even useful. Mildly. <laughs> um, and even the stamina ones. I feel like the stamina ones are pretty garbage, too. I like the, uh, focus ones. Focus ones are nice. Um... I like the uh, oils, but they don't really last very long. These are my scissors. No, these are my scissors. All right, guys and gals, I think I'm gonna help out. I don't really want to. I actually want to keep exploring and leveling and having fun. We're probably going to pick this up again tomorrow um, after work. 
as soon as I have some time available. And uh, we're probably going to play all day. So um, look forward to episode three, I guess, since technically this is episode two. And, uh, I mean, honestly, my thoughts on the game so far are it's amazing. I love the art style. I love the combat. Um, I love just about everything about the game. There's only a couple things that are kind of peeping me off, which is, like, not being able to rebind my keys and um, some, like, little things here and there. But for the most part, for an early access game, this thing is amazing, by the way. It's fucking amazing. Like, if you guys like Elden Ring or Dark Souls types of games, if you like Diablo 2 or freaking, like, ARPGs, like, this... This is, this is like the creme de la creme of, of ARPGs and, and, and games. Will this be a replayable masterpiece? Maybe not, right? But, like, because it's a handcrafted masterpiece, right? So that means that all the levels are handcrafted and, and like, made with loving and care, right? But that means that they're not going to change the next time you go back to them, right? So, so, yes, it might only be a game that you play through one time or maybe two times. Or maybe you play through it three times. But, like, eventually you're going to probably run out of, of patience with it and it might not be the game that you're going to play forever. But, man, the, like, the one time through or the, th or the two times through that you do play are going to be really fun. Like, I can, I can already tell. I'm already having lots of fun. So I already know. And, uh, and I think you guys are going to have fun, too. Um, and if you don't want to buy the game, you can always just hang out with me and watch me play it. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, hanging out with me. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content. And as always, 